Mark Donfried, director and founder of the Institute for Culture Diplomacy. This conference, the International Symposium on Culture Diplomacy in the USA, is trying to look at primarily three things. How is the United States presented abroad? How is the United States perceived abroad? And what is the reality? And I think that's where there's a huge potential for culture diplomacy to make contributions, to try to educate, enhance, and sustain relations to better understand America. If the Cold War was really a high point where the US was very active when it came to culture diplomacy, what they called winning the hearts and minds of foreign audiences. We believe that today, this priority of culture diplomacy is just as necessary, however, a somewhat different take, not necessarily winning the hearts and minds of foreign audiences, but even more listening as opposed to speaking, how really the USA can listen to other parts of the world as well. And that's where we're very excited actually throughout the framework of this event in Washington, D.C., in Baltimore, and in New York to evaluate these issues. What contributions can civil society make? What contributions can the private sector make? What contributions can the public sector continue to make? Now, I think the power of partnership is vital. Uh, we look forward to also continuing our partnership with you and also other NGOs in Turkey. And I think really one of the contributions culture diplomacy can make, and also in terms of fighting extremism, is to make it more difficult for the extremists. The more culture diplomacy there is, the more education it is, it's harder for me to convince you of an extremist ideology. The more informed you are about Jews, about Muslims, about Christians. And I think that's a huge opportunity where culture diplomacy won't end terrorism, it won't end extremism, but it will make it more difficult for the next extremists to actually accomplish their missions. And that's, I think, a great contribution. But of course, it can't stay at the high level. Uh, you know, this event was at the United Nations with secretaries of state, ambassadors, etc. But we've got to really come to the civil society level. And of course, our interest at the Institute is not just America. That happens to be the topic since we're based here, but really around the world. And to what you were saying, it's vitally important that these faiths, that these religious religions come together. They've got much more in common than they have apart, despite what is usually perceived in the media. And I think that's, again, where culture diplomacy should do more. Focus on those similarities, focus on the commonalities, and get constructive solutions to work together, as opposed to destructive solutions tearing us apart. Well, I'd be very happy in five or ten years if you and I were to sit down here once again and realize yes. that our work is no more needed, uh, and if one did actually achieve that goal. So let's work as hard as we can to come to that moment.